All right. Today I'm going to attempt to teach you how to make a, a decent photo slideshow using Sony Vegas. It's going to be kind of a beginner to intermediate thing. So hopefully there's a little something for everybody. So first off, we're going to open up Sony Vegas. This is the uh, what it looks like. And then I'm going to bring in some files. Sony Vegas can read uh, Photoshop PSD files. It won't read the layers, but it will read them. So, so if you edit, you don't have to save it as a JPEG. Just use a Photoshop. I do have JPEGs here, and I, I've resized them because this right here, 3072 by 2304, doesn't. You don't really need your picture to be that big, especially if you, you're uploading for YouTube. <clears throat> Depending on how much you're going to zoom in and stuff like that will depend, will determine how big you want to leave the file. Let's drag the photos in. I have it set where the photos will overlap each other so that it will cause a nice fade effect when it, the picture is squeezed together. The way you do that is um, options and preferences. Um, editing and I've got it right here it's telling it, make sure this is clicked so it'll all overlap your, your selections when you put them on the track if you drag them in all at once <clears throat> and then uh, this can this will change depending on how big you want the fade to be so you can see I have a 0.7 and that's about that's all there is to that let's uh, I'm gonna bring in some music um, let's put this, pick this uh, song on there, shoot that back down, um, I'm going to start the song a little bit into it. Alright, let's um, add a fade in the song, the way you do that in Vegas, you just kind of grab the edge, and once you see the little circle, 180 circle thing, that's and you can grab it. Let's do it, pull it out to about there. Obviously, the longer you pull it, the bigger the fade in is going to be. And we'll fade in this picture too. You can make your timeline bigger and smaller just by scrolling on the mouse. So, if you want to get, if you're trying to do details, you, you obviously you'll scroll it out to make it real big. Or if you want to see the whole project, just scroll down and it'll shrink it all. You could leave your. Um, Slideshow like this, if you wanted to, I mean, it's kind of boring. Just the pictures flipping by, and you got all these black bars that I don't care for. So let's let's concentrate on this one first. Let's get rid of these black bars right here. There's different ways we can do that. I'm going to open up the crop window, and I'm going to right click and go to match output aspect, and you can see in the window it just now it's filling the frame, which is what I want it. Um, also, in Sony Vegas or in Vegas H, you got uh, the option of fixing red eye. I would rather use a photo editing program, but you can use Vegas too. The way you use that is uh, right-click on the picture, go to red eye reduction, and zoom in with your mouse with your wheel on your mouse. Go to the center of the eye and make a little square. And then do it again. Alright, and that's kind of the gist of doing the red eye. Now we're going to go back to this crop screen, and if we zoom in, it's going to be red, red on the still on the crop screen. But you can see that it's their eye colors have changed. So it works pretty good, but you need Vegas 8 for that. So if you don't have that, you're out of luck. <clears throat> All right, the next thing I want to show you. 
is called keyframes. So this is basically, when I click on here, the picture's starting here. Since there's a fade on it, we, we can't see it, so I'm just going to move this far so we can see it in the video preview screen. <clears throat> I click on here, that's our starting point, and then over here, click somewhere, and this will, I'll make this our ending spot. If we zoom in, we can zoom right into wherever we want on the screen. Um, these will lock our frame into place, so, so then you don't have to mess too much with that. So then uh, we'll move this down to the end, and now you'll see in the preview screen, zooming in. All right, and then you, in between here, you can put more, more keyframes, and you can spin it, whatever. You can put as many of these as you want, but I wouldn't go too crazy. I usually use, I usually use three, maybe four on a picture, and let's see what it looks like now. Okay. Let's get rid of those black bars. And this one will... So I got it set. I'm going to click on the keyframe that's going to make that how it's going to start out. Click over here on the keyframe, spin it and bring it out. That's about all there is to that. We can uh, Vegas has all kinds of different transitions. If your transitions aren't on your screen, I, th I think usually they are when you start out. But you can go to view and transitions. So you can do this little whatever. All you have to do is drag this on top of there. And then you can, there's different presets. So I'm just going to leave it at what it's at. And let's scroll through and see what it's going to look like. Rolls in. Or you could whatever. I mean, there's all these, there's so many different kinds. These portals. And then if you want the, if you want it to last longer, the the portals they, that transitions coming in way too fast. All you got to do is push these two together further. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna stretch this original picture, the first picture out longer. And then uh, I'm gonna have to move the keyframe too, because otherwise, otherwise what's gonna happen is it's gonna stop and it'll look kind of a little weird. So there we go. That's that. Let's open up another video track for, so I can put a different transition in. It's this full screen wipe here. Now this comes with audio, this particular transition. The way that we make this work, right now, it's just going, it's just seeing it as a, we have to make it transparent. So how we do that is we'll come on this image, go to properties, media, this is kind of getting to where we're intermediate, so the beginners is kind of a lot to understand. Um, we're going to change this to straight unmat it, and that's about it. Now you can see that it's transparent. So now we just got to find where it's we're right in the center of the two video or the two clips. So we want to move this so that it fills the screen and you can't see it. And there we go. 
And there I am again in the next one.